What's up guys, Manalumamananan here, bringing you my first ever Minecraft video. And I'm really excited. Me and my friend have been working on a house in creative mode. And I am just starting to figure out this game. I'm not very good at it, but especially redstone. Redstone has always been a problem for me. But anyway, we are uh, going through our house and we get to the bathroom. So I'm like, hey, what kind of shower do you want? And he sends me a YouTube video by uh, Maricelis. And if you don't know her, she does a lot of cool Minecraft stuff, so you should definitely check her out. But she had a video for a uh, pulsing shower. And uh, I will show you what that means. So basically, the water doesn't just come down in a straight stream. And it's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty cool effect. And you know, when you stand under it, <laughs> it doesn't push you around. It doesn't like pin you down like a waterfall would. So, you know, it's nice and it's different. The problem was when I watched her video, she seemed to have a lot of stuff going on. She had like two pistons going at once and different things going on for Peters and stuff. And like I said, I'm not really good with redstone. So I was like, whoa, there's got to be an easier way. Also, the fact that uh, our house was already built, so I didn't really have that much room to work with. So I was like, it doesn't seem like it should be that hard. You know, all you need is a circuit that can keep a piston going back and forth. And then I remembered, hey, look, an egg. Then I remembered that uh, someone had posted a video about a blinking light circuit and pigs come to check it out too basically what that is is these eight blocks one two three four five six seven eight when they're not hooked up to the lever over here they will basically rotate the circuit kind of this way so they're going to be lit up at different times and that's going to create a pulse in the uh, torch so I use this idea to um, make a shower with one piston as opposed to two. And I think it works pretty well. Um, over here, I got two different designs. This one, as you saw before, is kind of designed to go either in the floor or in a wall. Where over here, this one you can kind of put in the ceiling. Um, I think the ceiling one's a little more complicated, so I am going to show this one over here, and I'll just show you this one real fast. No. Works the same, a little more compact just because I didn't try and elevate it. But I'm going to show you how to do the one built into the wall, and then I can just show you how to do it if you're doing it in the ceiling. So what you're going to need. You're going to need whatever material that you're building your bathroom out of. Usually it's iron. Then you're going to need some redstone, some torches, some repeaters. You're going to need a lever. You're going to need either a sticky piston or a regular one. And then pressure plates. And one bucket of water. Now. I'm going to start by showing the uh, blinking circuit because I feel like there's a lot of potential to do different things with it. So I'm going to put a little 4x2 block down here and I'm going to put one block right there. So I'm designing it if I want the shower to be like right here. So facing the block, you're going to turn to the side and you're going to put down a repeater hit that three times. Now the simple blinking circuit, what you do is go from this box and go one, two, three. So you connect the repeater to the block, then place one redstone torch. And as you can see, the torch blinks. Now the speed that this torch blinks is the speed that your piston is going to move. So for the shower, we don't want it that fast because you want to give the water time to flow down. So, what you do to compensate, you add one more repeater facing this way, 
give that three hits, and then add one going this way, and hit three. Then you just connect them, like that. And now you put the torch back, and as you can see with the torch, it's a much slower pulse than it was before. So now that we got this set up, you're going to come over here, and you're going to go up one, two, three. Above the redstone torch, you're just going to put one more iron block. And then at the very top one, you're going to put your piston. Now, before I go on, I'm going to show you how to add the lever. And the lever is very simple. All you really need to do is collect, connect a uh, redstone path to one of these. So... I'm going to go out, you know, like, right about here. And you're just going to connect that, connect that, and then you're going to add your lever. Now, as you will see, when you hit the lever, the circuit's going to stop linking. So, that's great. You know, turn it on, it's going to turn the shower on, and then when it's off, it's going to stay off. Now, what you're going to do next is right under the piston you're going to put one more redstone torch. Now what this does, which I actually just found out recently, is this will invert the circuit, which means while the circuit is off, the piston is going to stay open, which is what you want because you want when it's off to hold the water. So you're going to hold the water up here. And then once you turn it on, it's going to close and the water is going to fall. So, I'm going to put another iron block right there, and as you can see, click it, that's going to go in and out, do that again, turn it off. So the next step is to build the uh, trap for your water. Now, if you're using just a regular piston, you know, if you really want to save space, you can build it kind of like this. It's a 3x3 three three block, and you're going to leave that middle area open for the water. But because I'm using the uh, extra block with the sticky piston, I'm going to go out one further, just like that. And then right there, you put your water. Now, the last step is to put down some pressure plates. And what the pressure plates do is just keep the water from going all over the place. So now, as you can see, I'll flip the switch, and we're going to get the water coming down as the piston goes in and out, and you get that nice pulsating motion. So that's really all there is to it. And like I said, the uh, shape of your shower can vary. It depends where you want to put the, uh, the lever, you know, what you want to do with this trail. And you can change up the shape a little bit. And then once you have this, you know, you just kind of cover it up however you want. I think in our bathroom in the house we're working on, I have the, uh, the lever kind of like this built into the wall. But again, it's all up to you. You're probably going to want to cover all this stuff up. So, and I'm not going to waste time building this whole thing. You guys can figure that part out. But yeah, that's basically the whole thing. So, again, if you want to do it in the ceiling as opposed to on the ground, what I did was started with the same kind of eight block pattern, the same one that's down there. And then instead of stacking the redstone, or the, uh, the torches on top of each other, like I have over there, I put them kind of in a row. So to get this effect, you will leave one block, put redstone on this block and then you have the torch here which will activate the piston and same thing this is the lever that goes down and then pressure plate to keep the water and that's all there is to it this pig's hanging out he's checking out what's going on so um i hope this helped um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you did. And I will uh, 
hopefully be putting up some more Minecraft stuff soon. You know, the more stuff we get done in our house, the more stuff I want to show you guys. So, uh, thanks for watching, and see ya.